My friend committed suicide last week. I was in his will, but the only thing that he left me was his computer and an address. I hadn't been on his computer yet, so I decided to Google Maps the address. The address was 2462 West Harper Road, Bellerica, Massachusetts. Anyway, I followed the address, figuring it was going to be a storage unit of some sort containing stuff that he wanted to give to me. Oh, how wrong I was. As I approached the address, I learned that it was a video store. This slightly perplexed me, considering my friend didn't like movies that much. So, I went inside and no one was there. The entire store was dark except for a few lights in the back and over the counter. There was no one in the store or at the counter. The store was completely empty, and it had somewhat of an eerie feeling to it. I could have sworn that I heard someone whisper, stop here, but I shrugged it off. There was a single cardboard box on the counter with scratch marks on it and the word Jake on it. This is my name, of, of course, so I decided to grab the box and get out of there because there was something wrong about the place. So I got back to his home and opened the box. It was a single CD with Play Me written on it. I decided, well, what is there to lose? So I hooked up his computer at his house and entered the disc. It ran through, it ran through a few menus and replaced his deck desktop with a photo of a painting of an elderly lady with eyes black as night. This startled me at first, I, but I had figured that it must have been his grandmother or something. Then I noticed something. There was only one icon on the desktop, and it was in the middle. The image was some strange character that I had never seen before, possibly another language. Furthermore, I decided to click it, and like the idiot that I am, worst mistake of my life. Something whispered agony in my ear and grabbed me by the throat, then dragged me throughout the hallway of his house, squeezing on my throat while I choked for air. It threw me down the stairs and I flew out of his window. I woke up on his bed with glass shards in my arms and the CD on my chest. I could barely walk, and as I opened his bathroom door, the his house was very different. Blood was dripping from the walls. There was dead, decomposing bodies hanging from the ceiling from nooses. The screams of rape and murder echoing throughout the hallways. Children were being mauled by dogs in separate rooms and violently whipped as they were put in chains. I was absolutely horrified and looked downstairs. There was a demon, impaling a burning animal in a pit of with, fire with a pitchfork. I immediately began to vomit and passed out as the demon looked into my eyes. I awoke mo once more, almost too scared to walk. The CD was on my chest again. I immediately tossed it out the window. I was almost worried that as soon as I opened the door, I would be forced to repeat the same hellish event as before. I slowly opened the door and found myself standing in his normal house, no blood, no bodies. I hesitantly walked through the hall and came, and came to face with the door to the computer room. I opened the door and, met, and was met with a brick wall. I patted the wall looking for a space to get through, but it was solid. I immediately went outside jumping and jumped into my car and drove back down to where the video store was. The video store was replaced with a gym. I walked inside and asked the owner where the video store that was on the lot on that lot went. He said that there was no video store there for over 20 years. At this point I was about to pee myself out of sheer terror. I drove back to his house and it was no longer there either. It was just an empty field. I drove back to my home and typed the 
this out. I think... I think I saw the depths of hell itself. I'm worried that something is coming after me. I can feel it watching me. I can feel it getting closer by the minute. 